Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second annual impeachment show extravaganza. Resolution is adopted without objection. The motion to reconsider is laid upon the table. Throughout the day, the Democratic majority largely arguing the president remains a threat to the nation, despite having only seven days left in office. He must go. He is a clear and present danger to the nation that we all love. But unlike the first time, they're now joined by 10 Republicans casting their votes to oust the president. Liz Cheney of Wyoming, Dan Newhouse and Jamie Herrera Butler of Washington, Fred Upton and Peter Meyer of Michigan, David Valadejo from California, John Katko of New York, Tom Rice of South Carolina, Anthony Gonzalez of Ohio, and Adam Kinzinger from Illinois. Among the 197 Republican members of Congress who voted no on impeachment, many lobbying blame on their Democrat colleagues. Republican Jim Jordan of Ohio joined a chorus of GOP representatives taking aim at the Democrats' motives. Donald J. Trump is now the first president in our country's history to be impeached twice, and that falls on the heels of an insurrection at the nation's capital, a vote to impeach him that took place in the very room where that insurrection was underway. 